All right, all right, all right. What's crack lacking, YouTube? I'm back with another mystery box, only this time it's from an auction house. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Bob Dabber, full-time teacher, part-time reseller. I like to, you know, sell anything I can on eBay to make a couple extra dollars. I've been doing quite well right now. Reselling on eBay is like, it has to be the best hobby out there. You get to go on a little treasure hunt, whatever you find, you get to make some money on. Uh, it's a bunch of fun. I highly recommend it. And I've been needing a new place to source from because the thrift stores around me are dried up. Uh, I have to travel if I want to go on a real thrifting adventure. Um, so I tried to think, what else can I do? And that turned out to be a couple online auctions. So this experiment was a little different. You, it was like a silent auction. There was like 1300 items up for auction. You got one picture of each item and then you just put in your highest bid. And after three days, the auction closed and whatever you win, like whatever your silent bid was, um, that's what you won. And they shipped it to me and I just got it. And I don't know what I want. I know I bid on a bunch of stuff, but I have no clue what I want because it was all, like I said, a silent auction. However, I do remember what I bid on a couple of the items, like what I put down as my max bid, what I would go up to. The first thing I got, they shipped me all these bats in a box with these boots that I want, but the box they shipped me all these bats in fell apart. So I already know, I guess, that I won all the bats. My highest bid, for the lot of bats was $3. So for $3, I got all these bats. And I do remember that I placed only a $2 bid on these New Balance boots and I won that as well. So I got a $2 pair of shoes and I paid three bucks for all these bats. I wanna run through these bats with you real quick cause I've never sold a bat and I don't know if I'm gonna actually list these up for sale. I didn't quite anticipate winning these with a $3 bid. All right, I actually spent a total here of $60 for this big box, $5 total for the boots and the bats, and then everything shipped to me, they only charged me 26 bucks. So I think that's actually a pretty fair deal. So I'm into everything that you're gonna see here, I'm into it for $91. $91, I'm gonna put it down in the corner and we're gonna start tallying up to see if we can make some money on this lot, right? Cause that's the full intention. Okay, so back to the bats though. All right, bat number one, this one is dented. This is more like a home security bat. This is a softball bat. I looked it up. There's one listed for 20 bucks. So like for 20 bucks, is it even worth it? And then the rest of the bats are little T-ball bats. Uh, these two really aren't worth much. Both of these, there are sold comps for less than 20 bucks. This one looks to be like a pretty normal T-ball bat for around 20 bucks. And then this one is actually the best one out of the lot. It's the smallest one, uh, but this is vintage. Apparently these are like a little rare, these Rawlings Adriandak bats. And there's a sold comp for this for 28 bucks. So with all of these bats combined, I'm looking at like a hundred bucks, but is it even worth it after individually listing them shipping these these are going to be at least like 12 bucks to ship and if you only sell it for like 18 or 20 bucks is it worth it you guys are gonna have to let me know should i actually list these up and get some of that money back but i don't know for the sake of the video i'm gonna say i have 50 dollars worth of bats here so we can take 50 bucks off of the price okay and then the new balance boots these are old school boots these are pretty cool hiking Thick little leather on there, got the nice little rainer. These look like they're selling for around 30 bucks, so I'm hoping I can get, you know, 30 bucks out of the boots. Keep in mind though, fees and shipping, but yeah, looking to sell these for around 30 bucks. Now we got the true mystery. I know one thing that's in here, and then I do not know the rest. I think there's only three items in here though, because that's like what the little itinerary thing said. Right now, we're still gonna need a lot of profitable items in this box in order for me to make some money on this auction haul. And this is pretty fun. It was interesting. I might do it again in the future. Um, so if you guys like this type of video, make sure to smash the like button and that will encourage me to do more. Like butter, baby. What in the world? <laughs> okay. I guess I won some hats. <laughs> I don't really remember bidding on the hats, but again, I mean, I have 60 bucks into this whole box. So let's see if we can get anything out of it. Little army hat, little Drake motel hat, a little Bass Pro Shop hat. This thing is <coughs> dusty. 
Woo! But actually, these Bass Pro hats, I've sold a couple of them in the last like month or two. They're quick sellers, so that's cool to see. American Legion Post vintage hat, Care Center hat, and a Menards hat. So out of all these hats, there's only really one that's worth any money. It's the Bass Pro hat. And then all the rest, maybe I'll throw into like a vintage lot. I don't know. Maybe this Army one is worth something. But let's call it, I know that's like 20 bucks. So maybe all together, we'll say like 25 bucks and a half. 25 bucks. All right, this, this mammoth is what I knew I bought. So I'll save that for the end. Yep, and then the only other thing is that's in here is a vintage Budweiser crew neck. This is like opening an early Christmas present right here. Look at that Toltex tag. You got yourself a double-sided Budweiser crew neck? What? Yeah, I saw this in one of the pictures and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. I'm buying that for sure. I think I bid this all the way up to $17.50. I think I, I didn't pull the trigger on the $20 bid. I should have bid 20 bucks because I would have been so sad if I did not win this. Uh, there is some major flaws here on the sleeve. Looks like some some stains there but the rest of it is in beautiful condition this is definitely my new favorite sweatshirt and i'm gonna have to look this up on my little handy dandy chromebook to figure out what i could sell this for so it looks like similar ones i can't find this exact one anywhere honestly i think this is the best one i've ever seen look at that back graphic so budweiser sweatshirts usually sell for around like 50 to 60 dollars um, if I'm putting this one up, honestly, I'm going to price this at a hundred bucks because I haven't ever seen this one and I want to hold on to it. So if it sells for a hundred, then I'll take the sale. Anything less, I'll hold on to it. So I can confidently add another hundred bucks to our little profit calculator right here in the corner. All right. And now it's time for the fun one. Ooh, this thing is dirty, dirty, real dirty. All right. So this is a vintage Remco, um, it's the boat. Yo, there is a spider in this. There is a spider. It looks like I got the spider for free, included in every purchase. I don't think he's moving though. He might be dead. That's disgusting. Yeah, honestly, this is in pretty rough shape. But yeah, these vintage Remco big toys are so cool that this was like the hot playset item back in like the 80s. This auction house also had the big Remco bazooka up for sale. I bid that up to 50 bucks. That was my max. I should have bid it up to like 70 bucks because that bazooka toy is one of the coolest old toys out there. Um, but then there was this aircraft carrier toy and then they had another Remco big toy. All these old toys are so cool, but I paid $47 and 50 cents. I remember I did not pull the $50 trigger on this one. So, I have $47.50 into this. It's in pretty rough shape. Let's see what they're going for. All right, so I'll show this to you guys. I don't know if you're gonna be able to really see it because it's like a screen on screen type of thing, but there have been three that have sold in the last, what, three months? Is that what this is? One sold for 235 bucks. It looks like it's a complete set with the instructions. One also sold for $60 on auction and it had all the planes included. And then one that looks like it's in my condition sold for 80 bucks plus $40 shipping. So 120 bucks all in. So 80 bucks, man, I paid 47.50 for it. It was too cool to just, you know, leave behind. I am glad that I won the bid. Spider's still there. I'm definitely gonna have to clean this up a little bit, but I'm gonna say around 80 bucks for this as well. I'm gonna probably actually put this on auction and start it at 80 bucks. So we'll see if we can even get more. But just to be safe, 80 bucks on the little profit counter. I can't see the counter right now. I don't know what my profit is, but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to make some money off of this little auction haul mystery box. Uh, it, it's cool to see what I got and I would definitely do this again. So if you guys would like to see me do more stuff like this, please like the video, comment down below. A like is just the hit of a button for you guys and it means the world to me. So help me out. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. I'm going to get it listed. Got to make some money back. And yeah, happy holidays. I'll see you guys later.